What's up, everyone? My name is Sam Nichols, and I'm a pastor here at Life Center. And I'm here to talk to you about worship, and more specifically, how I am worshiping right now in quarantine. So to dive right in, a pastor once said that obedience is speechless worship. And I love that. So this is how I worship God. Obedience motivated by love. And what do I obey? I obey God's Word. And I cannot stress this to you enough, how important this book is. You see, in this book, God has revealed who he is. And so, that's kind of a big deal. You know, he said, hey guys, this is what I'm like. This is how you worship me. This is not how you worship me. This is what I like. This is what I don't like. Stay away from those things. So, to dive right in, let's go to John 14, 15. And this is Jesus talking. He says, if you love me, keep my commandments. And then a couple verses down in verse 23 says, Jesus replied, anyone who loves me will obey my teaching. 
And then, of course, in Matthew 28, which is their great, the Great Commission, um, where Jesus is saying, Therefore, go make disciples of all nations, baptize them, teaching them to obey everything I have commanded. Basically, he's saying, teach them to obey me. I obey God because I love God. And when we're talking about worship, we're talking about the action and the attitude married in one. We're talking about what you're doing and the motivation behind it. And I believe a beautiful example is in John 14, verse 15, that we just read where Jesus says, if you love me, keep my commands. That's what it is right there, where I obey Jesus. I obey God because I love him. And it's precisely when we separate these two that things go wrong, where we separate the motivation from the action. Just like in Matthew 15, 8, where Jesus says, these people honor me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. That's not how we should worship. So this attitude and action thing, this is how we should be worshiping. This is how it works for everything. So wherever you are, this is the case. Because when we're talking about worship, we're talking about um, your daily worship and your gathered worship. Who you are at home and now amongst your friends, or at least five people, um, as well as when we gather, both physically or digitally, as of right now. Um, both those things, who you are daily and also when we come together and gather, those two things are inter interdependent uh, in worship. They depend upon each other. If you take one of those out, the, the cycle of worship breaks down. So when we go to the word and we, and, we, and we look at what God's word says to us, when Jesus says that above all things that we are to worship God, that means over your marriage, over your kids, over your relationship, over your job. When Jesus says that, will you obey that? Will you worship when Jesus tells us to love our neighbor as ourself, and of course our neighbor being anyone and everyone, even the people we despise the most, will you obey and will you worship that? Also, um, keep in mind that social media matters. What you say and who you're talking about and how you're conveying certain thoughts, that stuff matters. When Jesus says, forgive others, always, just as he has forgiven us, will you obey and will you worship God? When scripture calls for us to submit to one another, to voluntarily yield, as Pastor Joe would say, to one another, to value others above yourself, will you obey? Will you worship? Do you love him enough to do it? The life of obedience is the Christian life, and that life is a life of worship. And I worship God. I obey him because I love him. And this call to obedience, this call to the Christian life is not nullified. There's no exception whenever, yeah, I don't know, maybe a pandemic happens um, and stuff goes crazy. We go into lockdown, stay-at-home orders are being given out. That doesn't mean when, when stuff happens, when stuff hits the fan, that should be all the more reason to worship God. So... We're going to sing. And when we sing, we're going to sing lyrics, these lyrics, that say, I'm in, I'm yours. And we're singing that to Jesus. We're singing that to God, saying, I'm in, I'm yours. And the motivation behind that is, God, whatever you said, Jesus, whatever you have said, whatever you want me to do, whatever plans you have for me, I'm in, I'm yours. I'll worship you, Lord. So let's worship together.
Jesus. 